The Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Suleiman Y. Abubakar, who is the state nutrition champion, said the 21 community-based management of acute malnutrition simum sites spread across nine local government areas are grossly inadequate considering the thousands of children affected with severe acute malnutrition. He noted that the Assembly will work towards scaling up of these sites to 40 to cover the entire state. Also, the Assembly will ensure adequate provision for nutrition in the state budget, while members will carry out oversight at the CIMAM site to ensure the continuous availability of ready-to-use therapeutic food. The Speaker urged the Primary Healthcare Development Agency to always channel problems on non-release of budgeted funds to the House Committee on Health, who will take on the matter with the appropriate authorities. State Commissioner, Budgets, and Planning Commission Dr. Amin Ugamawa noted that the morbidity from malnutrition is of serious security concern, stressing that nutrition is not standalone in the budget process but is embedded in other ministries that include health, primary health care development agency, ministry of agriculture, and that of education. Dr. Gamawa said COVID-19 has affected government spending, but because of the concern on severe IQ malnutrition, the nutrition budget was not tampered with in the 2020 revised budget. He called for the step down of nutritional activities to local government areas. Executive Chairman, State Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Ruwanu Mohammed said the continuous procurement of ready-to-use therapeutic food for treatment of severe acute malnutrition is not sustainable, which is why it is introducing the use of local quash pap for prevention of SAM. He noted that the agency signed an MOU with local government councils to contribute to enable the easy transportation of RUCF to CIMAM sites, but the councils are usually not forthcoming, thus leading to delay in distribution of RUCF to children with SAM. Given an analysis of nutrition situation in Bauchi State, Deputy State Nutrition Officer Abubakar Sali said nutrition activities are being hampered by delay in nutrition budget transportation of RUTF to local government areas and inadequate human resources for health. Representative of Aisha Buhari Foundation, Dr. Fatima Jibrila, said the meeting is to unravel bottlenecks on nutrition, strengthen coordination and look at ways for additional financing for nutrition. Aisha Buhari Foundation is a member of the Nigerian SAM Advocacy Consortium, which targets advocacy for sustainable intervention towards the prevention and treatment of severe acute malnutrition in Nigeria. Severe acute malnutrition, according to statistics, is one of the major causes of mortality among children under 5 years of age, and the situation is worsened with the re recent restriction of movement as a result of COVID-19, leading to shortage of food supply. Participants advocated for nutrition, safety, agriculture, exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of a child's life, and for government to create an enabling environment for private sector to produce local nutritional food rather than depend on RUTF. Elisa Becker, BATV News.